विष्णु जैन जी हमारे साथ फोन लाइन पर जुड़ रहे हैं सो विष्णु जैन वी आर लुकिंग एट अनदर एंगल एज फार एज द हिंदू साइड यू हैव बीन नाउ कॉन्टेप्लेटिंग व्हाई एग्जैक्टली द प्लेसेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इन दिस केस एग्जैक्टली दिस इज अ बोन ऑफ कंटेंशन दैट इन दिस केस प्लेसेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट इज नॉट अट्रैक्टेड एंड फर्स्ट रिलीजियस कैरेक्टर ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी इन क्वेश्चन हैज टू बी डिटरमाइंड एंड टू बटरस दैट आर्गुमेंट वी हैव प्लेस्ड ऑन रिकॉर्ड द एविडेंसेस ऑफ 15 विटनेसेस who have said in 1936 that we used to worship and do puja there so therefore the religious character of that property is question in question is of a hindu temple so that has to be decided first before any direction that uh, order 7 rule 11 should be decided the other crucial aspect is that apart from the evidences of 15 witnesses the importance of kashi the period after demolition of 1669 the aspect of work the aspect of work by user all these things have been categorically dealt with by us in our reply okay uh, but also mr vishnu jain uh, this could have far reaching consequences so it's not going to be easy to just exempt gyan vapi uh, out of this act so do you expect it now to be a very long drawn process see i don't think that any process is a long drawn process or a short drawn process it's a judicial process and to explain our uh, uh, arguments before the court some time is taken so everyone should have patience we are explaining our arguments before the court it's a sensitive matter and after explaining our uh, arguments the court the honorable supreme court will take a call as to how we have to proceed further in the matter so some time will be taken and that time is a uh, genuine time because of uh, the judicial process right but mr jain uh, the arguments from the muslim side has been as the places of worship act the legislation passed by the parliament was upheld during the ram jan bhoomi case and uh, this time around they do not want uh, it to be applicable there because it changes the religious character of the same gyan vapi masjid as they have been calling it see that's what uh, that's what our bone of contention is that we are claiming that this is a this is a, this is having all the characteristics of a hindu temple they are saying that it is having all the characteristics of a mosque so it has to be decided in evidence but the moment we say it has to be decided in evidence they take the help of places of worship act mm-hmm. now that then uh, my argument comes that the places of worship act in this case is not attracted is not applicable mm-hmm. because the religious character of that property in question was of a hindu temple and the supreme court after determining ram janmabhoomi judgment the constitutional validity of places of worship act was challenged in the supreme court in which on the supreme court has issued notice mm-hmm. so the the core issue is that places of worship act was not an issue before the uh, supreme court in ram mandir case and all those uh, orders and findings of the supreme court in ram mandir case is obiter it's passing comment and it cannot be a part of the judgment it is just an obiter finding all these things will place before the supreme court right. because everyone knows that in ram mandir case 1921 act was not under challenge okay all right mr vishnu jain thank you for joining us on the broadcast